I, uh, after five years of, of this, of doing the, you know, single song contracts and close calls with deals but no cigar, I went home for a month and a half. Uh, it's like I went home for the Christmas break and I never came back. Right. And I went home and I listened to positive thinking tapes, uh, people like uh, Leo Biscaglia, uh, Gerald Jumpolsky, nothing to do with, with music. And I just thought, you need a better attitude and you need to feel positive and you need to act as if you are a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, when I, after that, everything changed. Sure. You know, when I started to get my, my focus right. Um, yeah, Amy Curlin at the Bluebird, you know, in, in the beginning, she, you know, in my first couple of years at the, in Nashville, she kind of told me to slow down and not to corner people, and I, I listened, you know, when I, it, it wasn't hard for me to figure out that I was not, not getting it, mm -hmm. you know, and when I realized that, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I don't know everything. Um, well, I always, all these years, I, I kept taking publisher <coughs> meetings, uh, but really, when my attitude changed, I think the songs got better. And I was more relaxed, and I, I was critiquing myself more and saying, okay, maybe they're not crazy, maybe this song isn't right. So when I relaxed, I think the songs got better, and once the songs got better, <coughs> people wanted them. I, I do very, uh, I, I give, I teach a course based on this book, okay. and uh, and I'll, I'll do the whole course, and dollars to donuts at the end of the course, somebody will come up to me and do a, another mistake, you know, or, or, or be a black hole and be negative, and I'll, I'll catch them, and I'll say, now you're being a black hole, and you're putting the music business down, don't do that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, people have to learn, you know. Well, I wasn't a staff writer, uh, like, in, in the early days, and I wanted to be a staff writer. And I thought, okay, if I'm not a staff writer, let me act as if I were one. So I would wake up every day, uh, nine o'clock, start writing. If a friend wanted to go to the mall, I'd say, no, this is my job, I write. And then I would go wait tables at night. Right. You know, so I had to act as if I were a writer. Um, which was great because when I got on staff, I had the discipline, the writing discipline. I, you know, I would, if you're a waiter, uh, I would back away from saying that right away. If, if this is a restaurant that Tony Brown, uh, for instance, goes to a lot, uh, chances are you're going to wait on him again, and you don't have to tell him right away. You just want to be that smiling face, that, that nice person that, you know, he eventually gets to know by name, and eventually he'll probably ask you what, what you do. Um, you just have to be the person people want to see coming.